mercy, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? <laughs> we may be seated. We thank God for his mercy and his favor that he has given us another day, another chance to reclaim what belongs to us. Can I take you back to last Sunday to remind you that we are Jesus' generation. We made the covenant with God Almighty. You may not understand this. Spiritual people understand this. People who are surviving on human beings' blood, they know what it means to make a covenant. You, who doesn't know anything, it may look like um, it's just a program. No. The blood of innocent people who have been murdered, sacrificed, because of this evil nature, no one will die like that anymore in our families. Because we made the covenant. I explained a lot of things, starting from Noah, Abraham, Isaac, until this time around. Before now, we are not considered. But in that book that you know, you call a memory verse to you, the book of John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall never put to shame. And Jesus became the guarantor of the new covenant. We understand that one. So what we did last Sunday, there are testimonies. Don't sit on that testimony. There are a few individuals who shared with me this testimony during this week. The work of God, people of God, is not a guesswork. It is an instruction. Go and do this. If you use the name Jesus in vain, or you want to make a name, you are provoking Satan because you are on your own. God cannot be used by a human being. Or for your personal gain, or you want to make a name, or you want to be popular. No. God is not a respecter of man. Make no mistake. So what we did last Sunday is a remarkable thing in our lifetime. It's a remarkable thing. There are so many of us in our generation who this evil covenant of being rich, promotion, name them. But for the one we did last Sunday, how I wish... God, you know, can open your eyes and you see what is going on in the spiritual realm. That Sunday will never be repeated again. I can't do that again. Joshua renewed the covenant and after everything, he died. So that the people of Israel can still remain the first choice of God Almighty. What can make you to lose that covenant? It is sin. If you rebel against him, you are on your own. Remember what happened to Joshua and his team after Achan collected long material from Jericho. They died in numbers. Sin is the one which is killing us. But as at now, we are Jesus' generation. 
I can assure you on that one. You may not believe in me, but the future will prove you wrong. That there was a man by the name of so and so. -and -so. This man was saying this. We thought he was, you know, just encouraging. He was one of no. Anything from above is above all. I'm telling you, we have made a covenant. The hack of the, the, the hack of covenant is there. I'm sure people there are people are wondering what is there they are keeping there. I just covered the ark because I don't want, you know, people to be like, uh, uh, you know, when you, you become too familiar with these evangelical items, it, it becomes, you know, nothing. Amen. It becomes what? Nothing. But uh, here is the ark. Uh, let me uh, 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 uncover it so that... Uh, when you go there, you will not say, Tatua Chishwe Fiabi Kakuntai, please. Uh -huh. This is the one. Simple. And uh, I'm going to build a, 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 a stand or a table for this. It's too precious for me. My father never left a thing like this, which belongs to God. He left me with problems. Your grandfather left you with charms, buried within your compound. But for this one, it was God who designed this. He started with Noah. After Noah, he reduced to a small. The time of Noah, it was a very big hack. That is the boat where Noah and his family got saved through, through the flood. But later, he reduced the ark into a small one like this one. They made it with God's pleasures, you know, minerals that we sell and make money. He is the owner of everything. We need to honor him. Praise the Lord. So, Nachila Mibukisha, Pali Sunday. Last what? Because Imwe, Mwadite Moku Chita participate. But Tamfua Yokusunga, Fio Mwasenda, that is a problem. As long as Sunday is last week, let Sunday go with it. Uh, look at the impact we had last Sunday. I never announced this program because I'm one person who doesn't go to radio stations. But look at the impact spiritually. Hmm? We are 2,000 plus. Last week it was 5,000 plus. What does it mean to you? God is involved. There is no human being who can influence 6,000 people to go and sit one place. Look, you know the temperature here. So I'm reminding you. We are going to build a covenant house as an altar for our generation. My generation, your generation, and generation that will come after you. Amen. Amen. So that our children can stand and, you know, face the altar to say, God of my mother, my grandmother, my grandfather, they are not calling anyone from Kasama. They are calling God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob a covenant-keeping God. It is enshrined. No one can change it. Things will start unfolding. Things will start what? You see it by yourself. Even me, you see me uh, becoming fat more than this. Is it true <laughs> that <laughs> the anointing can make you fat? Is it true? <laughs> no, it's not true. Hmm? You see, the spiritual life will be, you know, going where? Because we have honored the creator of heaven and earth. No one has ever done this in our lifetime, in my family. Maybe I don't know your family, but in my family. 
And what I know as a minister of God, no one has ever done this. According to what we believe, we thought it was a record for those people. But there's no way you can make a covenant without a sacrifice. In this case, Jesus became the sacrifice of our covenant. I laid it for you. So, those who want to be part of this historical, so that when you are passing here, you look at the structure, your heart will tell that, yes, this is your... This church will no longer be, let me just put it in this way. It's not a church, you know, for members. It is the church for believers. Any believer can, you know, enter the place, worship God, and go back home. Whether a minister, a member, a leader, anyone can enter because it is a covenant word. Jesus did not, come, you know, came to establish something like members or, No. He came to win what? Source. That is the purpose of that covenant building we are going to build. And God has already done it. Everything is on the ground now. As I'm talking to you, everything is on the ground. It's just a matter of time. We are going to raise this powerful structure. And once we raise this powerful structure, your life too will be powerful like it. The building will be just a sign. The beauty of that building is a sign that your life has been now beautified like this. Praise the Lord. So, those who want to join hands with us, cards are there. You can talk to the people there. You hear more. Covenant oil is there. I was talking to my people yesterday. I said, Anywhere where you go, they sell oil. They sell what? I'm not saying this to, you know, to uh, demonize my brothers who are God, you know, gave that grace to do that. Here, I don't sell oil. I give what? If I were to sell oil, all this crowd, I would just stand there and say, this one, if you carry this one, oh, this one is plus plus. To my frog from Europe but it doesn't mean that it is the will of God for me to do that. As long as you are not instructed to do that, you make money, but that money will not be a blessing, but a thorn in your flesh. When you are told to say, go and give, you give. Go and sell. Yes, sell. So that covenant oil, you, once you say, I want to put my hand on this structure. Cards are there. You fill it in. You collect this. There are two cards there. One is like this. This one is a covenant what? Card. It's for you. Where we put the picture of this beautiful uh, Ark of Covenant that I got from Israel. And then there's another one that you put your, your names, your phone number, and the amount you put on the table to build this house. Remember what I say. Don't put your own figure. As spirit leads, just follow the instruction. If you cannot manage, then give your heart. Simple. Amen. I talked about this last Sunday. I said, this Sunday will never come back, but the program will continue up to what? December. December, we close everything. No one should come again and say, I want to be part of this. No, 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 no. Once we reach December, that's the end of our journey as the Spirit leads. So feel free to be part of this if you feel like that. Tamufile mwa fo singwa. Nangukia mkula anda pachinti ocho tamulech ta understand. You commit what? Sin. Because we are used to attack churches, men of God. You don't know. Who is a man of God and who is not a man of God? Because of the nature of this life and the behavior of human beings. There are people that you cannot attack. If you attack them, God will fight for them. If you say anything contrary to what God said, you are inviting your own problem. So if you, you, know, you don't understand this, keep your lane 
and focus on your future. Let those who understand this be part of everything. Amen. 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 That is my word to you. Cards are there. Feel free to be part of this historical journey. When we finish this one, by the grace of God, if God, you know, permits us, we'll be there for years. If not, we'll leave the world early. But what is important is to make sure that there's something behind our life where people can say, yes, this is what God did in that man's life. That is what, you know, I'm yearning for. The greatest achievement in life is salvation. Is what? So feel free. You go outside there. Praise the Lord. Because of this last Sunday, again, my message will be very short. It's more like a reminder or to let you know that it is not everyone who can believe in what you are doing. Even if you are a prophet, don't expect anyone to respect you and believe in you, even those who are very close to you. Why? It is Bible. It is Bible. Even Jesus, when he came to this life, no one believed in him that this is the Messiah. Until this man accomplished his mission here on earth, that's when people now started realizing that ah, this man, I think that man was a, a what? That man, but the man was there. So anything that you are doing, more especially the one that I am, you know, I am doing here. No one, I mean not everyone who believes that what I am doing, it is the will of God. You have your own opinion. But doesn't mean that what I am doing is wrong. The first thing you need to do as a child of God, you need to believe in what you are doing. That what I am doing is what has been given to me. Not to cruel it up and turn it. How we church in eh? How we mwana wakwa lesa ha? Tapale ko ingaya. What you heard from your father is what will make you to stand. There are people who oppose everything because they trust their mind. They thought they are wise, not knowing that they are not wise. They are missing something more important. After this. That's when they'll come back to, to, ah, I miss it all. Let me take you to the book of 1 Corinthians. Chapter 1, verse 24. We are walking towards our success. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. You are walking towards your success you are coming out of poverty mm -hmm. you are walking towards your success and when you are walking towards your success people of God people you know may not believe that where you are going you'll be something where you are going you'll be this like me I am not you know advertising myself I want you to know this where I am going I see a lot of, you know, crowds, uncountable people surrounded the life of Jesus. What does it mean? I am working towards my success. And who can make you to be a, such a person? It is Jesus himself. But when you are going there, Majority of the people will not believe that you'll be such a person in life. Not until you become. That's when they'll start now coming to, to say, ah, we know him. Ah, we know the sister. Oh, we are together. Why? They have seen the success. They have seen what? Mm -hmm. But when you are going there, they see it as foolishness. Like what we did last Sunday. To the people of this world is foolishness and useless. 
Listen to this. And uh, my prayer is that God Almighty will give you a hearing heart so that no one can deceive you or mislead you. I want you to be part of these blessings. Verse 24. But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Let me read this one. But those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Those who have been called by God, whether a Jew or a Greek, as long as you answer the call, Christ is the power of God in your life. Those who are not called, they cannot understand this. Whether you are Bemba, Lenje, Tonga, anywhere, it doesn't matter who was your father before. When you are called by him, Christ is the power of God in your life. Replacing the ancestral power in your life. Come on. I want you to tap from this. Don't look at see, your father's background, your mother's background, whether they were, you know, idol worshiping, doing this and that, or what people are saying about your faith, or those who are calling you, you are what and what, you are what? They are not called by God Almighty. It is you he has called. And it is only you who can understand the purpose of your calling. That Christ is the power of God in me. Because you are working towards your success. And no one knows this. There are people who shall remain stagnant until they become old. Because of what? Listen to 25. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom. The foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom. For example, if I stand here and say, this is the Ark of Covenant. There are people who would say, what is this? Those who feel that they are wiser, more than the Spirit of God, they will start questioning what you are doing. But the Bible says that the foolishness of God is wiser than human beings, what? Wisdom. So what you are thinking as a human being, you may think that what you are thinking is more important than what you are receiving from the Holy Spirit. This is why you are not even ready to be part of this journey. Because you see it as foolish. But the Bible says that it's wiser than the wisdom of human beings. Are you there, people of God? And the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. What people see as weakness, it is more stronger than the number of people who are standing against what you are doing. Are you getting the point? It is something that you cannot understand with this mind. What people see as useless or weakness according to what they believe because of their number, because of the level of education, their standard in the society, what, you know, they discuss. As I stand here, I am more stronger than a million of people. Why? One with Jesus is majority. One with Jesus is what? Let me repeat this. Understand this people of God. Let me start from verse uh, 24. But to those whom God as God, both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God. Christ is what? What made you to be the children of God is because of Christ. He came as a sacrifice so that you can be included. If it is not Jesus, there was no place for you. 
because of the sin. And it is not easy, people of God, to understand that this is the Spirit of God. No. Ubufi, abantuala wuchete kera pobu angu kuchilenshi, ichishinka. Nangu mwana kashinga wayano ubufi. Imini na yewe place. You see this girl. Nga naafia wino wino na matropi kwa tininku temuwa ndefu wa kupa. Ala mbo kunja watifi ni mule mwoneka. Hmm? She was she chochin, she conca in a guati of a matrop quivalesa curini. But in Chilish and Sapato Quisa, Ikulu Kuriala and Ariashman Sapato, Shrashin Sham Tengo, Kadimarishme Fiaku for Alam Webenati, Nam Fiomuntuna for Alam Labapendelati in Sapato, in five sixty. Hello, Editoloshi. Nakala from where you have for a lot of Monica Wino, but to Alasan Vietnam, we show Mutengo if you have a full body. Now, one point five per movie. If you go to the sister, you borrowed all these things, and you say you even hired the Hilux or Bakut Martin some Shamotoka, then wapping and then you packed it all of a sudden. Then they come in. Ah, if you anga book on take oyo, anga wachi mini na pana makapa kapa ibele de kentu fwe ko abantu wale fwe kui pusha selele ni koko milale te fwe kuli. The sister will be deceived because of the way I dress and the type of vehicle that, you know, I'm driving. If I say, Vasim Peniko number, Nimukan Wanko Kwele. Hadres Vasi, Nimukan Wanko Kwele. Nishtan Shimunge Sambona. Mwewe Nenga Mwalanda. Because of what? I like see and the dress code. Eh? Take for fin. And yet, this is the man who is reliable and dependable when it comes to marriage. Wearing slippers. A broken one. Na pishana mutumba. Akana uyu, because if you are a monica, tafile monica representable. But the barabe is in an like sikul. Abal men the barabe pawa kashana. This is why original cannot be trusted so easily. It will take some time. Not until muambo kumwana mafruits. That's when you realize that, ah, I thought I was there, but uh, somehow, I don't know what was, you know, uh, you are late. You are already pregnant for a long man. Hello, why is that? Can she, asangwa femu striti. So, wala mutumako efini aliba active. Papa, papa, mina bakwata po ye experience in the land omu. Hello, my son. She was Tivaria. Tevabulu Abu. Vale Sangu Apofe. But if you feel it, stick a kale. They are inside. Okay, sit down, mommy. She will land at the phone. I was just, you know, using you as a, an example. Praise the Lord. This is why. What is wise? According to human beings, it is foolishness in the eyes of God. And what is foolishness? According to human beings thinking, it is wise in the eyes of God. What you see as weakness, because you are strong, you are rich, you are what, you are whatever you feel like, it is nothing but a shadow that can be, you know, removed anytime. Praise the Lord. Listen to this one again. Verse 26. Brothers and sisters, think of what you were aware when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Who are these people? He's talking about the people who are not even, you know, considered to be anything in our family and society. They were nothing according to the human wisdom. But when God Almighty called them, they became what? Wise. They became something. But before now, the Bible said that you were not like this. According to the human standard, you were not wise. No one considered you to be anything before Christ called you. But when you answered the call, like if you were to chitile, 
abantu bala muna mafruits nga mwaya muna elo mukeshi bati ah what happened nale baba na bakwasa tukasuka tumulo pakwa eswali ngitikila that's the only answer you can uh, you know give them mulo pakwa eswali tashali not many were influential not many were of noble birth ha come on understand the word noble not many who were influential before you were like a person like me can i influence anyone i'm talking to you can i influence anyone if it is not jesus in me the answer is no but i answered the call and i did not you know disappoint the call i kept it i maintained the relationship and through that relationship i kept on growing spiritually at the end of the day you will see what you have never seen even those who could not believe in me they will start believing in what i am doing but before now no one can even notice that there's a, a human being by the name of mlenga they will just look at this man who is should this short man hmm? i hope you are getting something the covenant we have made is going to yield something so we are working towards our success you are working towards your what your success because jesus has taken over your life it is no longer the foundation your father your mother laid for you it is now the blood of jesus that is your foundation to change you to remove limitation a child of god has no limitation a believer of christ has no limitation what you cannot do before you can do it because christ has changed your life listen to this uh, let me repeat again 26 brothers and sisters think of what you were aware when you were called not men of you who were wise by human standard not many of you were influential but jesus has made you to be wise when you talk everyone must listen to you joseph entered potiphar's house and his life started booming the life of what potiphar He became a manager. And when you become a manager in that company, and the company is, you know, progressing well, well, because of your presence, you too, your life will start what? It's like you are the company. You are making that person rich because Jesus has put his own life in you to multiply the life where you are working. Are you getting what I'm talking about? So we are walking towards what? But people of this world cannot believe this or understand this. What is wise in the eyes of God, it is foolishness, the standard of this world. Praise the Lord. Listen to this, 26, 27. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. What does it mean? It simply means there is a standard which people believe so much here on earth. Those who are learning business, who are going to school, who are working, they are claiming to be degree holder, they are claiming to be this, they are claiming to do this, I can do that because I've been to school, I've been to this. But to the contrary, God chose something that cannot be considered to be anything and give it value to promote his own purpose so that he ashamed the standard of this world that there's nothing that you can do without me. Look at what we are going through in this world. In fact, the level where we are now, three quarters of the world are educated people. But nothing has changed. Only disaster. Disaster is looming all over the world. 
What can save your life? It is the hand of God. The covenant we made, there are people are saying, uh, these programs, watch the space. We are working towards our success. Because all those limitations, because they are no longer connected to our life anymore. We are working towards what? Success. I was listening to the brother who was talking about a captured soul. A captured soul cannot progress. It's like you are in a container. You can't move. I talked about the names last time. I said, some of the names that we, you know, we carry, they mean, you know, negative things about our lives. But because of, you know, where are you taking that woman? Leave her there. Let the spirit who started the work finish the work. Praise the Lord. I was talking about that some of these names that we are calling, they came from, you know, evil foundations. Which Satan and his demons are using to monitor everything. They control your spiritual life and they control your physical what? Life. Ah. I've been reminded that so let me end the message here. This is the way that has come that you said you will not take much of the time.